Hi everybody, hope you're all well. I've got Superworm with me again today. We've been doing about this story, haven't we? We're sort of coming to the end of it now. But I wanted to just remind you of that part in the story where Wizard Lizard has captured Superworm and he's forced him to search in the mud for hidden treasure. And it just got me thinking. I thought, hmm, maybe we could use our sensors, because human beings are different to worms. Worms will move in and out of the, the mud, looking for things and feeling things with all those little tiny hairs that they've got all over their skin. But that's not how human beings feel things, is it? We feel things with our fingers. And I've got a little activity for you that you might want to do later on today with your mums and your dads and your family. And all you need is a bag, or you could use a pillowcase, like what I've used, and inside it, you just need a collection of things. Things that you can feel with your hands, but you're not gonna use your eyes. So you're feeling for treasure, things inside the bag, and see if you can work out what they are without looking at them. Mm. Now this is round. Oh, I can put it on my arm, but it doesn't really feel like a bracelet. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think it's sellotape. Let's have a look and see if I'm right. Yes, I am. Let's have another go. I like this game. Oh, this is soft. Oh, very soft and squidgy. Oh, is it a teddy bear? Oh, but hang on, it's got threads on it. Feels like something's wrapped round and round and round and round like a ball of wool. It was wool. <sighs> Let's see what else I can get. Oh, I can hear something metal. Metal. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I think I know what that might be. It's got a handle and it's hard and it's got a round bit on the end. It feels like you could scoop things up with it. Scoop up your food, maybe? What could that be? Something that's hard metal and it's got a round bit on the end. I think it might be a spoon. Get what, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is an easy one. I'm sure this is an easy one. It's big. It's got a hole in the top. It's plasticky. Mm, I can feel it. I think it's something that you put something in it. Maybe you drink out of it. Now, that's one way of playing this game, is put things in the bag that are a surprise for somebody. Or maybe you could both have a bag. Maybe you could play this with your sister or your brother or your mum or your dad and you could both have a bag and you say, right, go off around the house and find five things, put them in your pillowcase or put them in your bag and then you've got to play each other's game. You've got to guess what's in their bag and they've got to guess what's in your bag. Another way you could do it is have all of your items out already. So all of your special treasures, got all sorts of things in here. Oh, got a face mask. Oh, I've got all sorts in here and even a banana. You could have all of your objects out already. Bit like Kim's game, you know that memory game we played? Have a good look at your items and then say, right, get a photograph of it with your eyes and your brain and now I'm going to put them all away in the bag and then that person's got to put their hands in the bag and see if they can, just by feeling those things, recognise what those objects are in the bag. That's another way that you could do it. Okay. So, why don't you just have a go later? Find some ways of playing the special feely treasure bag game. You might come up with another way of making, making a game. You might come up with a completely different way of finding treasure. I'm going to leave you to it now. I think I'm going to get back to the superworm story and just remind myself of what happens at the end. Have a good day, everybody. See you soon. Bye for now.